Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain a one sample rank by serial correlation coefficient using Python and my stickpad p library. I'm using Jupyter Notebook with Python version 3.8.18. Uh, the one sample case is very similar to the paired samples case for this coefficient. There is another one which does use a different formula. Uh, for independent samples. In this video I'll go over the one sample case. To show you how this can be obtained I'll need some example data so I'll load in pandas so I can use their read CSV function to uh, load in a file called uh, general social survey from 2012 and adjust it for these example purposes. I don't actually need all the data, I only need one ordinal field and I'm going to be using this one, the account psi, which is short for accounting scientific, which has the responses to how uh, scientific accounting is according to the respondents. I'm going to store that as ORD field and to give you a quick impression, the counts for each possible options. So for example, 199 people thought it was pretty scientific. Uh, these are not in the proper order. I'm actually going to be using a small dictionary with all the possible categories in order and a value attached to them. Um, so my library itself can actually be installed directly from my GitHub account. So you will have to use pip install and then the full link to my GitHub account. And once it's installed, you can import it just as any other library. The function of interest is R, which is short in this case for correlation coefficient, and then rank by serial and OS for one sample. The function takes as input the data, and then optionally, if it's non-numerical, you should specify the levels. In my case, that's that coding. And mu is the hypothesized median because uh, this coefficient is simply actually the difference between the sum of the ranks of scores that were above the median and those that were below as a proportion of the total sum of ranks. Um, if you don't specify a hypothesized median, then the mid-range will be used, which is the average of the maximum and the minimum. So I'll simply uh, type the name of the function the data and the coding. I'll leave it blank so it will use the mid-range. So that should be, if we look at it, it ranges from 1 till 4. So that means 2.5 should be the mm, uh, should be the mu, the hypothesized median. The function actually returns a small data frame with the hypothesized median, as you can see in the 2.5, and the correlation coefficient. Now you can also use my function th for thumb rules, rank by serial, uh, and then just feed it the value, and that gives you a classification for uh, rank by serial coefficients uh, as from Cohen. All right, I hope this video was helpful, and thank you for watching.